Hi everyone. One of the main casseroles for the Finnish Christmas table is of course the rutabaga casserole. The rutabaga casserole is very easy to make. I'll show you how. The trick is just finding the rutabagas. So when you go to the store, they might be sometimes be called wax turnips or even Swedes in some areas. Not that we advocate eating Swedes, of course, but it's like a, uh, this, this one is maybe a little bit on the smaller side. It has a waxy coating on it. It's about, um, it's a little yellowish, but on one side it's darker. So when we cut through it, we're going to find out, we're going to find out that it has this yellowy kind of flesh. It smells, it smells like cabbage. I would say. Okay, so we're just gonna quickly remove the wax coating. Don't try to use a peeler or anything. Just use a knife. And then we're just gonna slice it and dice it just to make it quicker to cook. So I have here just a couple cups of water that's coming to a boil. Let me just add a pinch of salt. And I'm just going to put my rutabaga in here to boil. We're going to boil them until they're soft. Okay, so our rutabaga is, yes, it's for tender. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to turn the heat off here. I'm going to drain the water out. And I'm just going to use my stick blender to really just make to mash them. And it looks like, man, it looks like the half of the rutabaga was not enough. So I'm going to quickly make another batch and then we will return here. All right, see you in a bit. Okay, so I made another batch of rutabaga right here. So now what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna add, we're gonna add about a quarter of cup of brown sugar. We're gonna add some ground allspice. A little bit of cinnamon. ground cloves. I would say just a pinch of each. And also a little bit of grated nutmeg. About a half a cup of cream and milk. Let's mix it. Now we still need to add an egg, but before we add an egg, we will taste this for salt. I'll add just a pinch of salt. All right, and last, we're just gonna add one whole egg. Crack that in there. And you know what, one more thing, uh, which I almost forgot, is a pinch of white pepper. Here we go. Now we just mix it. So I have here some small oven safe containers. I'm just going to ladle this in. Shake it so it's nice and even. And we're just gonna take a spoon and 
and just run it through to create a pattern line through it. And we're going to sprinkle it with breadcrumbs, like so. And lastly, we're going to add several pats of butter on top. Okay, so these are ready to go in the oven, uh, about 450 degrees um, until the crust is golden and brown. This is a good spot to freeze them if you want to make this ahead and then on Christmas Eve, all you have to do is just take them out of the freezer, put them in the oven, and they will be ready in no time. All right, so I'm just going to put this in the oven. I'm going to put one in the oven, the other one I'm going to freeze for Christmas, and then we'll be back. Okay, so after about 20 minutes in the oven, this is what a rutabaga casserole looks like. So this is ready to eat, or like I said, you could freeze it at the previous step. You could certainly freeze it now. I feel that it comes out a little bit drier if you freeze it at this stage. Thanks for watching. Join me next time for more. Finish your plate.